We normally don't think of the Industrial Revolution in connection with art. It was more about mechanizing the nation. However, Ken Wilshire met a sculptor in Cunningham, Tennessee, who's taken elements of that era and incorporated them into his New Age artwork. When all the dust finally begins to settle, and all the sawing, and all the chipping, and all the demanding dirty work is over. This is when Cunningham, Tennessee sculptor Mike Andrews is on his way to creating another exquisite work of art. Mike has enjoyed a passion for art as long as he can remember. He said he made his first sculpture out of clay when he was eight or nine, and that's all it took for him to get hooked. Just fell in love with it. Just love the physical aspects of carving stone and, and wood and putting things together. Yes, it certainly may be physically challenging, but it is a labor of love for Mike to transform heavy stone into simple, delicate shapes. He's worked in stone, wood, metal, and recently with the support of the Clarksville Foundry. Mike's discovered how to take old wooden patterns used for making metal castings and create amazing three-dimensional geometric works of art. I'll just go through the bins and find interesting shapes, shapes that are, are you know, similar, uh, might have kind of a circular design to them, but they vary a little bit. Something that's kind of interesting, I'll arrange them the way that I want, and then I'll, I'll clean the, the material up, and I lay it out on a sheet of plywood and get a profile, and then I'll cut that profile out, paint it up, and then um, put it all together. And, so far, it's worked out well. I've had fun. Mike says he's simply taken fun childhood toys to a whole new level. It's the same kind of feeling that I had when I was a kid playing with Legos. Same thing with the blocks and the Lincoln Logs and Tinker Toys and stuff like that. I enjoyed that kind of thing. I had fun. Well, now I'm just a big kid playing. Well, it may seem like play for Mike, who's also a longtime high school art teacher. He says he feels he's setting an example for his students about preserving artifacts from our Industrial Revolution. I get excited about that. and In fact, that's one of the reasons why I'm drawn to these things. I mean, there's like old world craftsmanship going on with these things. I, I can imagine some immigrant coming over and, and uh, teaching craftsmen how to make these patterns. And the skill that it took to make these things is amazing. I look at them and, and, I, and I see kind of a life. I mean, the whole process to me is exciting. And, and to be able to, you know, take these patterns and make art out of them, I'm honored. It's wonderful for me. I, I love being part of that little history there. I mean, that's part of the Industrial Revolution. While some of Mike's stonework is impressive in a more natural setting like this outside his studio, it's even more beautiful in a formal setting. Actually, examples of all his works have been on exhibit in many galleries, like here at the Customs House Museum in Clarksville. This is where visitors, especially kids, can truly interact with his revolutionary works of art. It's funny, you know, you work on pieces and sometimes you forget them and, and you work on a piece like this and it's like you get excited each time you kind of see it, <laughs> which is a beautiful thing for me. <laughs> I just found out um, this piece down here, it uh, broke off. Apparently, the kids were trying to crawl up. Oh. <laughs> well, you said interaction. It's great. It's all cool. It's true. But you said earlier that's what uh, really made you feel good to see the expression on the kids' face. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, um, you know, I, I, I think sculpture should be kind of hands-on. You know, yeah. I, I think it's terrible we come to museums and say, no, don't touch, don't touch. Well, the tactile feeling is part of it. Yeah. Um, I think it's important. Mike says he's really not trying to make any kind of statement with his artwork. His pieces simply speak for themselves. It's more just about freedom. I, I work intuitively. I just play and, and, I, and I make things that feel right to me. I'm not trying to make a statement. I'm just 
trying to enjoy myself. And enjoy himself he does. His studio is filled with an endless variety of projects, and Mike says he never knows where they'll take him next. I don't know, you know, where my path is going to lead. I, I'm, I'm just on the path and having a blast finding my way. And after a long day in his studio, when most folks would say it's time to call it quits, well, the day just isn't long enough for Mike Andrews. I spend so many hours out here, but uh, the hours out here don't seem to be the same as hours elsewhere. And so time kind of stops. Leaving that is difficult. <laughs>